Uh, this is Casey on April 7th. I just spoke with Nancy and tried readjusting his cart. And I just want to show you, Nancy, I put him in the leg loops. And if you look look to the side, see there's all this, this space on this side where the amputated leg was. And he's leaning right on the knuckle. Um, we just cut, tried cutting, Stan, the foam here and drawing it up, loosened it a bit on this side, it doesn't matter, he's leaning right on the frame, so that's not working. He seems to like the leg loops better, except he's leaning against it, so that's not going to work. We also lengthened the cart, the extenders, and that didn't work because it left a lot of room in front with this harness. Harness. There was a big room like that, so I had to tighten it back up. Um, I'm not sure what to do <laughs> at this point. He likes, he seems to like the leg rings better, but I can't have him laying on that, that knuckle. That's not, not going to be good. This still feels very tight to me, um, but you can see his position. And Andy, I'm going to try and walk with him for a minute. We'll see if he'll walk. Come on. Come on, honey. He said, where's my treats? Okay, still. Come, come. I know you don't like the leash. Come on, sweetie. All right, he's not walking. But you know what? I don't want him to because he's hitting the side of the cart. So if you have any suggestions here for the leg rings, how I can get him in these leg rings and not to hit the side, um, I'd appreciate it. And as I said, he can't go any longer. Um, on the side rails or he's too front it's too much space in front